Alright you guys, welcome to part 3 of Charlie's Edition, the Joy of Gay Sex series. This is the last part for the series tonight. And, um, a lot of guys, I, well actually I've seen a lot of pornos of guys that, um, get into these wrestling matches and then they wind up having sex or jacking off by the end of the video. Of course, the guy who wins is usually the one who gets to be on top. Now, um, years ago, I had this person that I used to wrestle around with, and I must say that it was a very hot experience because, well, when I was pinned down and basically told to submit, that was the hottest thing. I mean, just those legs all pinning me down and his crotch all on my face. I was like, oh my god, yes! Just turned me on so much. But enough about me. <laughs> I'm going to read about wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. Many homosexuals like to wrestle before, even during sex. For some, it's a virtual substitute for sex. Where some men like to know from the outset the role they will play during a particular sexual encounter others are only truly excited when there's a struggle to determine who will be top man, which is tantamount to saying who will do the screwing and who will get screwed. Luckily, people have different tastes, and while winning may be thrilling in wrestling, defeat can be pleasurable. The pleasure is not only one of vang for position, it comes from the sensitivity of two strong male bodies engaging in strenuous physical insertion. Back muscles flare, biceps bulge, sweat flows, butts become rigid with strain. For some men, the prevailing flat hardness of flesh, the rigid muscu musculature, and the long exposed bones that so totally contrast the male body to the female is the real turn on. Allied, perhaps, to memories of adolescent or juvenile roughhouse play, such physical combativeness and competitiveness competition with its underlying threat of real harm and the possibility of total subjugation can become the ultimate uh, aphrodisiac. For more than a few, this interest in wrestling may have evolved out of their adolescence when, for many gay youths, the closest they could come or allow themselves to come to physical contact with another youth was through wrestling. And either a spontaneous sense of just fooling around with another guy on the grass, or more formally in school gyms or at the many intra and interstate competitions. Some given to wrestling have well equipped, equipped game rooms with professional mats. The main difference between professional and sexual bouts, however, is that the latter are almost always done in the nude or at most in jock straps. We know what a jock strap is now. Often wrestler, wrestlers oil their bodies. Climax is sometimes achieved through screwing and sucking. Through some wrestlers like to end up in a clinch, jerking off. Wrestling can also be integrated into S&M sessions with the difference that the master is chosen not in advance but in action right there on the mat. Many wrestling websites are welcoming the gays. You'll also find gay wrestling clubs that meet periodically in many cities. So, yeah, that's wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. So if you find yourself in a wrestling match with another guy, especially when they're hot, don't think for a second that you won't be turned on because it's going to happen. Now, I have to say, in high school, I tried wrestling for, like, maybe a few days, but it was with girls, and I was like, yeah. Sorry, girls, but, you know, I have to have that crotch all up in my face. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, those were my three joy of gay sex subjects. You know that when I did it in the past, that's what I did every time I did the show. I did three subjects, and those were three subjects that I wanted to cover tonight. So, um, basically, I want to continue on with the joy of gay sex series. I'll probably start another one next Monday, but as I said, I wanted to go back in my videos, find out which subjects got the lowest views, and I wanted to recover those subjects. So, I'll see. Um, I'll definitely let you guys know when all that's going to happen and when all that's going to occur, please. So, thank you for watching tonight's show. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys thought about tonight's subjects. And, um, 
definitely um, just say hello. Just let me know what you're thinking and how you like these subjects tonight. So thank you guys for joining and tuning in tonight. And I will definitely talk to you guys soon. So, how about that?